Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the Look Kind of Man at YouTube with another modeling review. Now, the biggest draw card to this channel is uh, the interactive elements and practical tutorials. Unfortunately, the practical tutorials take a very long time to make, plan out, edit and upload. Though in past, a couple of my theory videos have done quite well. And believe some uh, knowledge I haven't put out there or uh, shared uh, can be done so through theory. So I do apologise that uh, this video may be a tad dry, uh, visually wise. So I'm going to explain uh, some things that has been asked of me a lot from uh, video to video. And the uh, number one topic of today, primer, and why should you prime your model kits? I'm uh, constantly asked this, and will explain. Primer is a specially formulated paint to make sure the surface of the kit and the layer of paint you add adhere to each other. They uh, may contain a uh, higher count of uh, grit and do many other a range of uh, performances and requirements needed to fill on painting a surface. They're normally quite essential in uh, the painting industry and across many other uh, heavy industries such as manufacturing, product creation, housing construction and uh, cars. Paints sometimes sitting on certain materials can flake, chip or not very strong. Thus, um, even further chemicals or elements are added to the primer to make sure that there is the most uh, superior bond as possible. Example, if uh, the metal of your car was not primed, the paint would chip off and fade off far quicker than it currently does. Now, we're going to go into uh, model kit speak per se. And uh, the majority of your models are made of uh, styrene plastic or ABS plastic, a process that requires injection molding. Sometimes it might be a thin layer of uh, grease from your fingers, uh, the environment or mold release. Not everybody necessarily washes off. And it's also normally quite uh, shiny and uh, smooth. Not a lot of uh, grip for the paints to uh, stick onto as per something that might be a lot more uh, textured or uh, rough. What uh, the primer contains, which is normally made of uh, lacquer paint, uh, is uh, the strongest of the paints and it uh, hardens and sticks harder to your model kit. They normally have a much thicker uh, pigment which also makes your kit ever so slightly uh, rough texture though still looking quite smooth aesthetically. That's the uh, pretty much the main in layman's term use is to make sure your paint sticks to the surface and when you're handling the model kit working on the model kit the paint won't come off. Now unfortunately some hobby paints especially uh, acrylics, uh, Tamiya, Vallejo they chip off very uh, easily. They don't have a high scratch resistant, chip resistant and can wear off uh, by handling with your hands. Now the biggest problem is your multimedia kits, resin and metal. Resin is even a bigger problem and even some uh, conventional styrene primers have trouble sticking on them. And that's why some uh, manufacturers prefer uh, different products for your resin modeling needs. Uh, metal, it's quite common that a kit might be made out of uh, pewter, lead, or have uh, photo etch, brass, or any sort of metal. Now, traditional primer, which is very similar to a paint, uh, needs something called an etching solution. Now, uh, etch is a special element of primer, or a primer might be marketed as an etching primer. This means it has the properties that sticks to very... Uh, smooth metal uh, components which is completely different uh, material wise to uh, styrene. Now I'll show you the range of primers I do have today and um, explain or do a quick uh, verbal review what products are suited to what element of your model kit. Now final uh, reason why you would prime your model kits because we figured out that we really want uh, our paint to stick as well as possible uh, to the model kit without chipping or flaking off or peeling off and um, the last reason is
colour undertone. Model kits come in uh, various colours of styrene when constructed and especially let's say our uh, Gundam kits they may be uh, multicoloured. Now when you're painting in different uh, colours to your own design the uh, undercoat can dictate what the tone of the top colouring can be. Colours can protrude through uh, pigment. Example, if you have a black um, undercoat and you paint white on top, that white's going to be quite dull. If you paint white on top of white or silver, it's going to be a lot more brighter and a stark uh, bone white. So a lot of primers would be uh, grey because uh, they're open for interpretation of any sort of colour to go on there and uh, be true to its uh, pigment form and uh, brightness. If you're painting metallics, you want a black undercoat. If you're painting fleshes and whites, you want a, a white uh, primer which can be purchased. Uh, some of um, all of that information is uh, unloaded now. Uh, you know now why primering is uh, really preferred in my method of modelling and uh, standard modelling. Models do get handled, they fall down, especially Gundam scale model kits. Uh, Gundam's articulated, uh, you have parts moving, scratching um, up against uh, each other. Wargaming figures, all metal, are going to be handled and put across the field. And some people like to play, touch uh, their models, compare them to other models. They're collected in scale and you collect a large amount because you compare what a real world item are to uh, a smaller scale in your uh, collection. Uh, thank you very much for uh, watching uh, this far. Now we're going to look at uh, the primers I use and which ones are used for which product. First we have the Vallejo hand paint and airbrush acrylic primer. These airbrush and hand paint very nicely and can take a range of uh, acrylics on top of them including um, mostly water based stuff. Unfortunately they're the weakest of the, the primer no matter how um, amazing they are and they come with a massive range of uh, colours. This isn't too bad for styrene uh, military kits and styrene figures but that's where it generally uh, ends. <coughs> I like this uh, for um, various uh, plastic and vinyl uh, surfaces. Amazing for vinyl if you don't want to paint them with um, higher concentrates of uh, solvents as they will soften or uh, dissolve. So uh, styrene and vinyl rubber or toy products if you want to repaint a toy like I do with uh, the Mecha Masumes. Absolutely uh, fantastic. Next, we have uh, the very well-known Tamiya Surface Primer. Uh, has an etching solution. They are recommended for plastic and metal kits. So if you're painting uh, wargaming figures, um, lead uh, pewter figures, and all forms of uh, styrene, they are absolutely uh, perfect. Uh, can be a bit troublesome to use on uh, resin. Now, the rattle can is very famous and sprays on quite smoothly, quite thinly, uh, ideal for uh, beginners. On the right is the airbrush formula. You use a high concentrate of uh, lacquer thinner and um, a little retardant and it airbrushes or hand paints like a dream. Now, this is a preferable primer to use as uh, being lacquer based with um, a low uh, grit count they can take any sort of um, paint on top of it so once you lay this primer on the plastic you can put paint as hardcore as industrial automotive lacquers and it will not eat into the plastic it will not do any damage to the model kit and it will not do any damage to the surface primer as is the strongest primer you can get that will not dissolve from solvents unless you apply a lot of uh, lacquer thinner as uh, lacquers uh, do react to thinner at any time. Now we are looking at uh, the Mr. Surface primers. I'll explain first the grit count. You'll normally get a number after Mr. Surfacer. This is the grit count. The 500 is specially designed 
for um, kits that may be a bit rough, an older model that might have a few uh, surface imperfections uh, mistakes that you want to constantly buff and get a perfect smooth uh, finish, or something that you might have uh, scratch built that might have fine scratches from sanding or whatnot. Uh, this sort of primer is known as a micro filler. Once you do multiple passes, the thick uh, grit is going to fill in these um, small mistakes, uh, small uh, scratches, and create a smooth surface. Its disadvantage is it's difficult to navigate through an airbrush, and you'll need some prior knowledge before you airbrush it. It will need a generous amount of uh, lacquer thinner, so two to three part thinner to one part paint, and uh, up to... 10 drops in the airbrush cup of Mr. Retarder. It's a fast drying paint. Uh, Retardant slows down that uh, process. So it will go through your airbrush a lot easier. If you do your standard acrylic style mixture and put it in the airbrush, you're going to have a hard time. You'll probably learn to hate the product. These products are amazing for uh, resin kits once they're properly uh, cleaned and uh, washed and there's also a Mr. Surfacer 1200 which is ideal for something that's very uh, detailed and you don't want to flush out panel lines or uh, whatnot. it's just ready for primer then uh, straight paint Mr. Metal Primer is a purely an etching solution and uh, nothing else it is very watery applies with a brush and does not leave any strokes. Um, I have uh, demonstrated it in some of my uh, metal videos. It's perfect if you glue some metal bits or photo etch to a kit as you can just uh, wipe them on. Uh, overall, once this solution has been edit, um, added, painted on and dried, the whole model kit still needs to be uh, primed with a traditional lacquer grey surface primer. Now with this whole range, uh, Mr. Hobby and Tamir also comes in a super fine white uh, variety for your white aircraft or figure style uh, models. They are available and can be purchased. Last but not least, uh, as primers can come in a large variety of uh, colours, uh, the Alclad 2 lacquer range. Now, Alclad is very famous for their high quality, uh, high gloss and sheen metallic finishes. And this is their own brand of undercoat and primer plus micro filler. Uh, this product, even though it can be a tad difficult to use and very, very slow drying to keep uh, a true gloss uh, finish, um, is designed that uh, once you have your item ready to be painted in um, Alclad, you spray this product on and then you can spray Alclad whatever silver metallic color you want and then a top coat. It's sort of multiple products in one and is uh, also recommended. Uh, I've known to use it for uh, just small thrusters or metal bits for my gun modeling needs. Uh, now you've had a basic uh, education why you should uh, prime and also if you're going for uh, specialty jobs, specialty style of uh, model kits, different materials such as your metals and your resins or special jobs like um, Alclad uh, priming so you're not doing uh, multiple jobs, a primer, a top uh, undercoat then a top coat. Uh, you guys are ready to uh, prime? and work on your model kits. Thank you very much for uh, watching. Again, apologize if this is a tad uh, dry, boring, or long, but uh, as a beginner to modeling, and if you want to start going into competition work, doing finer uh, works, or making the job easier for yourself, preventing damaged models through transportation or play, this uh, theory is generally very important. Thank you very much. And catch you guys next time.